Imagine credible mainstream media floating the idea that a terrorist attack in London or New York was perpetrated by the government of that country. That's exactly what is happening right now in Venezuela after a police officer from the Criminal Investigations Agency flew a helicopter over Caracas, shot 15 rounds of ammunition into the Interior Ministry, then dropped four grenades on the Supreme Court building, all while there were people, including children, inside. While miraculously no one was injured, Venezuelan authorities call the act a terrorist attack. But Venezuelan private media, many of which are open and vociferous in their opposition to the government, have downplayed the attack even while social media explodes with discussion and speculation. The coverage of the attack outside of the country is even more curious. The day after events, The Guardian ran the headline, Patriot or Government Plant? Rumors fly over Venezuela helicopter attack, quoting one Twitter user. For its part, the Washington Post asked, was helicopter attack rebellion or ruse? The paper, which has run numerous editorials supporting intervention in Venezuela, also failed to provide a source for the speculation before continuing into a general anti-government narrative. Venezuela's new foreign minister chided the silence of those countries and institutions that routinely issue statements expressing concern for the situation in Venezuela but fail to condemn violence from opposition sectors. This week alone, another member of the National Guard was killed and two other bystanders burned alive by opposition protesters. How would media coverage act like this in their own country? How would their governments react if this happened on their own soil? These are the questions officials in Venezuela are asking, while reputable news media spread fake news speculation about false flag operations.